Marvel Studios is set to release the final trailer for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania in the next week. And there's a lot of excitement going into that trailer because we're all expecting to see a more final look at everything, including visual effects. So thanks to a brand new product listing and tons of merchandise, we got our first finalized look at Kang the Conqueror and his way more comic accurate look. So obviously, Kang the Conqueror was not fully completed in terms of CG and all the visuals, bells and whistles, when we saw him in the clips so far, especially when he's got his full outfit on with the headgear and everything. Uh, a lot of people pointed out that if you compare him to the comic book Kang, there was a couple missing elements there, like all the glowing white that's typically on the helmet. There's also the lack of the eyes glowing, and typically in the comics, he has like white lines coming down his face or silver, depending on how you look at it. That was all missing. We've seen recently with TV spots that that's getting updated and getting a little bit closer to the comic book look. If you guys check the link down below, I will have the fully detailed picture there because it's a little low quality if you toss it in a video. But what you will 100% see is the new glowing white eyes effect, which obviously I think he's going to have those and everything else looking like that when he has the whole head helmet apparatus on, whatever he needs it for, because it's obvious we've seen in the trailer. He doesn't need to keep that outfit on all the time. So chances are it's only when he's like engaging power or something along those lines or whatever they, well, I guess write as a reason for him to need the headpiece. I do think it looks like a major improvement. Like he looks way better, especially the way that everything just kind of, um, I guess looks like Kang is the best way to explain it. It kind of goes back to that whole argument of will Kang be more comic accurate or are they just going to try to kind of, uh, do their own thing here and then you briefly just see him looking like Kang from the comics and they go in a different direction and I guess this kind of takes care of that like he's definitely going to be looking like Kang especially when he has this headpiece on but I don't think he keeps it on all the time obviously um you know there's no reason for it it's quite obviously a story device of why he puts it on kind of like when Scott and Wasp put on their helmets I'm assuming it's something like that, probably when he engages whatever powers he has or whatever he's doing as a mission. It almost looks like an astronaut helmet to me, if you will. You know, futuristic, but yeah. Um, anyways, it's a pretty good design. I like it. They're definitely getting closer to the comics. He looks comic accurate here. Like, if you were to drop this in a Marvel comic, he would just fit into a panel, which that's the best thing you can really say about his design. It just looks like he's straight out of a comic book. 